Yeah, once you step onto the sacred grass, yeah, your feet are moving at all times. Let's have that happening now. Okay, so we're jogging on the spot all times. Anybody caught stood still? Everybody see Neptune's playground? Side push, oh, yeah. yourself oh, up. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Good gaps close, guys. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. There's a group.
Adopt the new lead. Yeah. <laughs> you can with us. No, no, not for continuity. Oh, for continuity, you should press, press, press. Just the water, okay? Obviously now, you see, just blowing into the water now. What we need to do now, attach. So, yeah, good. Attach the other base. Two at the front and literally run across, lurch again. Yeah, so it's near that, it's actually near that spot by as well. So I read the clue as well. You, you can
Exercise Red Dagger is a bilateral exchange between the United States Marine Corps Reserve and between 131 Commando Unit. The purpose of Exercise Red Dagger is to conduct an exchange where we share TTPs and best practices uh, between the British unit and our unit uh, so that we can get better combat engineers out of the process. Yes, yeah, so the uh, Brits set up a great range package where they gave us familiarization with their weapon system, so specifically their L-85, uh, their Glock 17s, as well as their light and medium machine guns. So the, uh, the British units uh, and the Mo Royal Marines have a group called Mountain Leaders that are highly trained in mountain warfare, establishing basically breach points up cliffs, down cliffs, and so they came in and gave us a one-day training package on basically ascending and descending, uh, sheer cliffs and just very difficult mountainous terrain. Yes, yeah, so the Royal Marines use an obstacle course that's quite a bit longer than ours. Uh, a, a, instead of a perfect score being around a minute, uh, you're looking at about three, four minutes, uh, a lot more distance between obstacles. Uh, more use of water obstacles, obviously our obstacle course doesn't have any, um, and uh, some pretty challenging uh, rope courses to get up and over. Uh, their obstacle course is just one, one test of many tests in order for them to earn the commando qualification. Sure, so uh, the land navigation is employed by the British commando units tend to focus more on orienteering. So uh, they move very quickly over the terrain. 
Uh, they tend to uh, basically be able to uh, cross several kilometers an hour um, regardless of the terrain and they will tend to shoot from terrain feature to terrain feature um, as opposed to maybe navigating specific azimuths like we tend to do. Yeah, so they set up an uh, engineer training package. Uh, so one of, the, one of the things we did was build a non-standard bridge um, utilizing steel I-beams and uh, wood planking. Um, the bridge uh, was a pretty challenging construction project. Uh, following the construction of the bridge, we were actually able to go down to demo range uh, and place the bridge and detonate it, uh, which was a really good challenge for our Marines. Uh, and the detonation was successful. They completely destroyed it. In addition to the demolition range, uh, we also did uh, built a deck pad, uh, a pad out at a seaside engineer uh, base that they utilize in order to store water tanks on. Um, and in addition to that, we did cross training on engineer skills such as basic demolition, um, utilizing the MGB bridge system, doing over bridges, and then they gave us an introduction to some of the heavier bridge assets that they possess that we don't use as the Marine Corps. So one of the things we were trying to accomplish in this training period was to take them back to uh, base, basic MOS skills, um, but also basic marine skills. So we set some time up in the schedule in order to do platoon and company level attacks. It's been about a three-day package. Uh, so we've been assaulting essentially urban objectives in addition to doing uh, reconnaissance patrols, moving to contact patrols. Um, been very challenging. They've got great facilities here, uh, tremendous role players. So our platoons got a whole lot out of, uh, out of that. In addition, um, we were trained up by Royal Com Marine Commandos in their current methods, their current TTPs for uh, urban assault and CQB, which differ a little bit from what we currently teach. Yeah, I think, I think really well. I and mean, we put them together right away. We threw a lot of adversity at them in the form of uh, some short schedules, some long days, some real challenging training. Um, we've had them integrated from the beginning. So they've uh, had to work together, partner together to succeed, and we've seen them do a really good job at that. Yeah, so, so what our Marines gained from this training was the exposure to how the UK military works, specifically the UK Army and how it supports the Royal Marine Commandos. Um, they gained an appreciation for English culture, geography. They've spent quite a bit of time hiking and uh, running through that geography. Um, and they gained an appreciation for different approaches to some of the common engineering challenges we all face, such as bridging, such as demolition. Um, they also became very familiar with the weapon systems that the Brits employ since they've essentially utilized them for two weeks, leading up to you know, company-level assaults uh, using those same weapon systems. Uh, on the British side, they've been exposed to uh, Marine Corps terminology methods, how we approach some of the common engineering problems. Uh, and some descriptions of our equipment, but obviously the goal to next year would be to bring them back over to the States and once again give, give them hands-on with all of our gear. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a great example of company-level training and uh, our INI staff uh, really stepping up with their British counterparts to plan a great exercise. From our perspective, it was completely turnkey. We fell into a two-week training package. The Brits have done all the logistics, uh, all, taken care of all the financial obligations. It's been incredibly smooth. All we had to do was get on a plane, come over here, and just start to work. Red Dagger is a time where we can get together with the Americans, our closest allies, and really impart a bit of knowledge both ways uh, and learn from each other. The best part of this exercise is being able to make new friends and again learn knowledge and skills from each other. Uh, I really enjoy working with the Americans, all of them have got really good characters and uh, it's been fantastic to see them develop themselves over the last two weeks. Well, we've done a large range of th uh, skills from bridging, demolitions, the basic core engineer skills, and then we've moved on in the following week to green skills, so infantry skills, progressing through close quarter battle and uh, fight fighting in built up areas, and also uh, patrol and tactics and harbour routine. In this day and age, being able to fight with uh, different forces and allies is key for modern battles and uh, a chance to work with the Americans and get used to using different skills and working together is really important, I think. Uh, Red Dagger is an awesome opportunity to develop and also from last year it's great to see the Americans coming over to Britain and get a little taste of what we do and also uh, hopefully this uh, relationship continues in the future because it's a brilliant opportunity.